guys, this is Anthony, and welcome back to Reviews by Anthony. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. And today we have some uh, be beakers, cre beaker creatures by Learning Resources. I said oh, because I couldn't say that. <laughs> and um, they are like um, they're little creatures that come inside like a little. Uh, it says here, reactor pod with mystery beaker creature, meaning, like, it has a reactor pod that will, if you drop it in this water, um, it will, uh, evapor evaporate. Well, uh, it'll break down. Yeah. yeah, it'll break down, evaporate. Okay, it's gonna break on into it. So let me see one of the boxes while you're breaking one open. That one, that one's gonna be lucky. I wanna see which one so I reactor want. reactor pod, so here's a bunch you can get. Which one do um, I want? I think, oh, I think Blizzard is cute. He's like the abominable snowman. I kind of like it. Lurk, oh, I see. So up top, you have Astrolites. Oh, where is Frostonians. My... Where is my other... See this, Oceanites. Wait, Mom, where's my other beaker creature? Bugolets. Minisaurs. So you've got all these. You've got another beaker creature somewhere around here. I don't know where he is. Maybe see all these? Probably in one of those. Those are all your Funkos. Do you have a beaker creature in there? I don't think I don't think they're in there. I think those are just your Funkos. Okay, so we've got all these you can collect. I don't know which one. And I then got. discover the limited edition twenty-four carat creature. I want the twenty-four. <gasps> you can Three get Blizzard. You can get Blizzard in twenty-four I know. carat. Oh, in twenty-four carat. But I I got one. I think I got Twinkle. Okay, so beaker creature. Uh, three piece set includes one reactor pod with mystery beaker creature, a classification card, and a mini poster with amazing science facts. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, yeah. And then you've got the poster. So, um, what's the other side here? Oh, it tells you you're going to unwrap and drop pod in water, watch the reaction, then extract your beaker, beaker creature, identify your creature with the included identification card. Okay. Okay, take this out of this wrap. I I'm going to get close up here. I'm going to put that here so that those that are just now watching know what we're playing with here. Wait, you're doing Facebook so Live? So you're unwrapping this. No, I'm not doing Live. These things aren't tough to open. I'm just not trying to get it opening stuff like this. Okay. Alright, what's going to happen? Ooh, sizzle. You hear it? Please be a 24 carat. A shadow in there. There we go. Oh, it's breaking open. All right. It's like a long time for my eyes to itch. All right, it's breaking open. That's looking more on the. Oh, it's like a little pod. Yeah. I forgot about that. Well, it's a reactor pod. Okay, can you pick it up now? Oh, there it goes. it's the green one. The there it goes. Do you, can you go get it? Why don't you go get a towel? Careful. Open it over it. It's a purdle. You need to have to wash your hands. Is it purdle? It is purdle. Purdle. Let me see purdle. Okay, go get a little towel. Oh, he's cute. A little one-eyed something or another. We'll put him down here. So this is... Purtle. There's Purtle. He's one of the Oceanites. He's an Oceanite. So what came what else came in his? We have a card and a little Let's see a little card. Let's see. The card is this. So we got Purtle. We got a mark. Does he have claws? No. So you, you can just do some observations on Purtle. And then we uh, we went ahead and stopped the video and unwrapped all these. So you can see when you break open your box, you can already tell by the color the type it's going to be. Here's going to be an Oceanite. This is going to be a mini source. Fro you can tell by the, the, yeah, so the, the color, color up here. Uh, frost, what are they called? Frost. Frostion. Frostions and then a buglet. So you can already tell kind of what from here. I think, I think if this they're going to be, you know, um, an is Astrolite, a Frostonian Oceanite buglet by the color. You just don't know which one of these will be inside. And then maybe you'll get the... Oh, that's the guy I got. That's the guy I got. Oh, that's the guy. Yeah, that's the one we already have. So then the poster for um, Pirtle 
is here and it gave us a poster about oceanites and you've got some science facts on here so that's a lot of fun and then a little poster okay so it comes with a lot inside so I, which one are you going to do next i kind of like the idea of a frost janite okay so this frost gen he's either going to get one of these characters here oh i want you to get blizzard i want to get the golden blizzard freeze is kind of cute too freeze yeah let's see then, let me see freeze Oh, I want flurry too. And then the poster for the Frosty Nights is this. So there's some more science facts. I can tell you're trying to buy time while I open animals. this. And then a little fun little picture. Okay. I can tell my mom's trying to buy time while I'm opening this. Don't touch your eyes because you got a lot of powder on your hands. Okay. Probably ought to probably ought to just keep a sponge or a washcloth nearby just just so that they can wash their hands. It's powdery. You just don't want to get the stuff in your eyes, you know, or have them rub their eyes. What will happen? That's really cool. What will happen? Is what I'll say. It'll probably just irritate your eyes. But that's why you don't want to use these in the bath. Again, I will keep saying it is because they look really similar to bath bombs. I know bath bombs are really popular. Even ones with toy surprises inside. This is not for bath use. This is more of a science reactor project or toy. Yeah, we've so done. So fun to do at home or science time or. We've We've done bath toys, but this is... Yeah. That's why we're in a bowl. Not in a bath. This is not the same. They might they might look the same, but they're not. I like the purple. I know. Purple's a really cool color. So what'll happen is it'll fizz, and eventually you'll end up seeing what they call a reactor pod with a little creature inside. Wait, that's what they're called? Things that you get in? Reactor pod. You hear it? Sounds weird. Also sounds like a Creating movie bubbles. character. Kind of don't want to say it though. This one's creating some fun bubbles. You can hear them forming. Popping. I don't know. Please be a gold one. Hoping for rare gold. I don't know if we'll find any in these sets. I don't know. This is number two of six. Not the shadow. I've got a shadow where I'm sitting. Let it finish. When I was just checking to see if, because like some, remember last time, I, is that a gold? No, that's a green. Is it? That's the pod. That's the pod. <laughs> it's starting to toss and turn. I don't know if any of you guys have gotten lucky enough see to. See how it tosses and turns towards the end? Mm -hmm. It's trying to. I, I don't know if any of you have been lucky enough to get a gold, but if you have, I want you to tell us if they come in like purple for like the gold frostina frostians or like they come in their own gold wrap you want to know if the golds come in their own gold wrap they probably come this in these colors and then you're surprised with the gold creature is my guess this one looks really full it's gray i can tell it's a little bit of red i think so maybe it's snowball or freeze i think freeze Oh, I like Freeze is cute too. Yeah, she wanted That's Freeze. It's not Blizzard. No, I wanted Blizzard. He's cute because he looks like an ab abominable snowman. They all kind of look like an abominable snowman in a way, but he's more like got like the long arms. I think it's Snowball. I think so. He's kind of cute with his boxing gloves. No, I think it's Freeze. Is it? All right, I think he broke off. Whoa, look what I found. What is it? Some of that stuff? Yeah, it's like in a pod, like it fell off. Just sliding it off. It's Snowball. Is it? Well, don't give it away before you open it and show everybody. <laughs> That's what I heard. Well, that was... Let's see Snowball. It's cute. Wait, are these like... What are the... Let's see. Bottom. The, the bottom as a whole. Yeah, he doesn't. He has little legs. That's cute. He has little boxing Snowball. gloves. Look at his little boxing gloves. He's cute. Yeah. Probably so he will sit, right? Because if it was a circle, obviously it wouldn't sit up. It would fall over. Well, okay, that's what we've got so far. We're going to go change water and try again. Okay, so we're back with fresh water. We're going to do pod number three of six. He Doug! Won't... You're going to choose a red one? A mini Doug. Doug. I want Doug. Doug, 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 Doug. Is Doug. So this is these ones. The reds are going to be a Minisaurus. So here's all our Minisaurus options. We've got Stomper, Doug, 
Swoop. Swoop looks I, cute. I have Swoop, though. Oh, yeah. Hornfellow, Clomp, and Rocky. I want Hornfellow. It does look cute. Hornfellow, Rocky, okay. or um, the one so I said. a red one. The, uh, Doug. Let's see what mini source we get. Four. We have two mini sources, so I have two out of three, six chance. To get three of the ones I want. So right. red, that means I have 50, 50 percent chance. Here's red. Look at that. Alright, here is Beaker Creature number three of six. If you guys don't know fun facts, Oops. fun facts, red is my favorite color. So, so while it while it's reacting, let's read some science facts. I'm gonna here, let's read a mini source mm -hmm. science fact. Red since we're when, since we're unraveling while mini source. I'm, while I'm here, I just wanna say that um red is my favorite color, so this is really cool to watch it. Watch it. So be red. let's read some of these. So we've got flying the pteranodons aren't dinosaurs, they're pterosaurs. What does the name pterosaur mean in ancient Greece? I don't know. Big bird, winged lizard, or oh, I know old this. airplane. I know this. What is it? I believe it's big bird. That's what I remember. I've, I've heard all three of those. A pterosaurus is actually a winged lizard. Yeah, you guys don't know the... Like, pterodactyls are kind of a similar... Maybe. I don't know if pterodactyls considered a winged lizard. Yeah, but they're more on like the flying side with yeah. wings. They're not technically a dinosaur. Yeah. So think about it that yeah. way. Scientists thought dinosaurs were scaly, but they now <laughs> think some may have been covered in something softer. What do we think covered some dinosaurs' skin? Fur? Really big blankets? <gasps> or feathers? I'm pretty sure this is going to be obvious. It's feathers. Feathers. That's pretty obvious. Well, obviously, because some of them could have feathers on their wings, like chickens. What are we doing here? Because I like chickens, so. So three, since we first discovered dinosaur fossils, many scientists have devoted their, creature, devoted their careers to studying them. What are these fossil experts called? Oh, I know this. Read you the want, answers again, though. You want me to read the answers? A paleontologist, geologist, monsterologist. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a paleontologist. Oh, yeah. yeah. So... Wait, is so it... you should ask, have, you, have any of you guys ever been or live in New York City? Been to the American Natural History Museum? Yes, I love that You love that dinosaurs? Place. You need to go visit. That is worth it. it it's, it's worth it, yeah. We've gone all the way from Seattle to New York City twice, two summers in a row. Yeah, we've gone. Went there last summer. We actually made it to the Natural History Museum last summer. That is a fantastic, and it, we wish we would have devoted more time, huh? We could have spent so many more hours there. We, didn't they, even, we had to rush through it, and we, uh, we were there how long? Like three and a half, four hours, and we still couldn't even. No, get it was like it. five hours. And we still couldn't get through it all. We had to go back for dinner, so we had to leave. Trust me, guys. Well, I, we did that. We did the Sky Show. We did that show. Trust then, me, guys. I did. Um, I tried to build the Natural History Museum in Fortnite. I literally gave up. It's good. It literally takes me so long. Yeah, he tried to do a Fortnite Natural <laughs> Museum. Okay, number four. This is almost done here. So, although it may have weighed more than forty-five thousand so, so. pounds, the Ap Apatosaurus only ate plants. What are plant-eating animals called? Oh, I know this. What? Can you read the answers again? Yeah, I, it's one of the answers. I can't think of it on the top Leaf of Leaf munchers? <laughs> Leaf munchers. Herbivores or grass lovers? Herbivores. Yeah. I knew that. So those are first <gasps> science facts. I think it's Doug. And we're about done. I think it's Doug. I think I think it's Doug. I think this one took the longest. I feel like it did. Doug, 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 Doug. Doug! Okay, I think we're done. And guess what it is? It's Doug. Yay! Yay. Oh, he's why? Why do you think I wanted him? So we got Doug. Number three of six is a minisaurus named Doug. Eyes, beat, one eye, three eyes, one eye. Yeah, watch that. I don't know if that's going to stain. I don't care about my towel, but really make sure. Okay. This is my New York shirt uh, while we were talking about New York. So, um, all right, we're going to change water and be back again for pod number all four. Right. So we're back for Beaker Creature number. We've done three. Here's the three we've gotten. Doug, Snowball, and... I keep forgetting his name. 
This guy. Oh. Pete. Turtle, right? Turtle. turtle. Yeah, because he's a turtle. turtle. All right, three more to go. What are we going to do? An oceanite, a minisaurus, or are we going to do a buglet? Buglet because we haven't done a buglet. We haven't yet. done a buglet yet. My mom helped me in the three. Orange ones are buglets. My mom helped me in advance to uh, open all of these because I have a struggle. So it's going to be one of these buglets. Are we've got flit, peetle, peetle's cute, peeper, stuckley, flyo, or nate. Nate is a gnat, like G-N-A-T-E. And then the poster for the buglets. Oh, well, that's going. I want Nate. Why a little poster with Nate and Peeper. Wait, I want to see if there's a... I want Nate, I want Peeper. I see something here. So Needle. Doug is in the post, this poster, and we got Doug. Oh, but then we didn't get those, so it doesn't necessarily matter. It's not pre Look, look, look. Oh, just one. I want these. Okay. These I want too, but I want these the most. So, buglet science facts. With its bold colors, the orchid mantis tricks its prey into thinking it's harmless flower. What do we call this adaption? Mimicry, impression, or copycatting? So, I don't know this, so I'm going to call it mimicry. Yeah, it's mimicry. Wait, In mom, science, can I just say? Mimicry. They also had this at the Natural History Museum. They did. <laughs> yeah. They have, like, giant, they had, like, um, s bigger scale like spiders and like ants and mosquitoes. It was really interesting. Yeah. Not yeah, like they, they weren't moving. They were like like they they made bigger scale bones like yeah insects. It was really interesting. That's one of my favorite parts because it was just so interesting to see all the, like the bugs are like bigger. Point. And also speaking of ocean ocean ones, the ocean exhibit is so cool. Where, which one was that? Remember where we had like the show where it was like you're underwater yeah, and it's telling yeah, you yeah. about that? Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, and it's then so there's like, there. and you can see like tele through like telescopes and you can like change pictures of like the sea. It's really cool. Yeah. And there's a giant whale thing. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought I'd introduce that. I always like watch, I like look, I, one of my favorite ones was, um, they had like the stuffed, like real life animals, like a uh, taxidermy type thing and they had all the extinct animals. Some animals I've never even heard of. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I think we got the first one, the Phil. We got Phil. Phil? Oh, it's a... Uh, is it Phil? Is that the name? Filt. Filt. Okay. okay, he's kind of... He's kind of, like, cuter. He's kind of, like, a cooler side. He kind of... Filt's a buglet. Let's see him. He's kind of cooler. Filt. Where are you, Filt? Oh, Filt's got one eye too. We got all these little one-eyed creatures. We have one three-eyed creature. The rest are one-eyed... Or, no, no, no. There's Filt. Yeah, yeah. There you are. Welcome to the family, Phil. Just so you know, we are opening an ocean one. So I'm going gonna... to open ocean. Okay, let's go change our water. I'm going to stop this. Okay, so we're back to un to do beecher number five of six. So we're going to choose an ocean night next, I think you said. Okay. Ha, speaking of ocean night, no. Yeah. They do have an exhibit for the ocean one. Like I said, at the. Uh, All right, so see what ocean night we get. Well, then, Pertle will just have a twin. Oh, there we go. I think I, I think I got my focus to work. I, I swear, if I get every, if I get a pearl, I'm gonna play with these. I'm gonna make Where's the ocean? Um, make Here's these. an oceanite science fact sheet. Well, that's going. Oh, unlike most species, male seahorses give birth instead of females. Did you know that? Seahorses. Oh, I never knew that. Didn't that's it? interesting. Where they have that in the Woodland Park Zoo? When you see the seahorses in there, it says it on the little thing. Forgot. So that tells you a little education. But it says, where do, they, where do these doting dads carry their eggs? In a pouch on their stomachs, on top of their heads, or inside their mouth? Well, I'm pretty sure it's not in, on top of their heads. So I think it's a pouch on their stomach, but I swear yes. they have pouches. They do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although inside their mouth would be just... So two, starfish... Do... Um, starfish can regrow pieces of themselves that get hurt or damaged. What is this healing called? I know that because I watched Spongebob. <laughs> Okay, what is it? Uh, can you read the answers? I don't know. Re... Calibrating? No. <laughs> <laughs> Calibrate. <laughs> Starfish don't recalibrate. Re hey, look. We recuperation, can... regeneration, or rest and relaxation. Rest and relaxation. <laughs> regeneration. <laughs> I knew it was regeneration. Right, that was reactor a... pods come That along. was a joke. Is it coming along here? <laughs> I'll read one more fact. Let's see. So, leafy sea dragons hide from predators with the help of a common bit of ocean landscape. Where do these sneaky fish hide? 
Behind seaweed, under a rock, or inside a treasure chest? Well, obviously not inside a treasure chest. That's pretty much just myths. Unless you actually are lucky enough to find a treasure chest, <laughs> then you're probably the most lucky person. So behind seaweed or under a rock? Behind seaweed. Yeah. Although they are known for their swirly shells, nautiluses also have a cool way of moving. How do these mobile mollusks move through the water? They pull themselves with their arms... They ride on a passing shark. They propel themselves with jets. Well, that's obvious. It's the shark. One. No, I'm just kidding. It's the first one. No, jets of water. No, they propel themselves with jets of water. I didn't finish reading the answer. Oh, mom! <laughs> they don't propel themselves with jets. It wasn't the shark? Jets of water. No. Oh, it's a, it's off to a good start. Please be the... Oh, I think it's Carl Mari. I, I think it is. Carl Mari? <laughs> Please be. Carl Mari. Please be. Please be. Oh my gosh. I think it looks like it is. It is! Is it Carl Mari? It's Carl oh Mari! Yay, Carl Mari. Carl Mari. Calamari. Which oh, is the they named fish. It Carl Mari. I know. After Calamari. Ooh, look I know. at your hands. So look at his hands. So you'll want to make sure you, he has a towel nearby. Do you your towel? It's not right getting here. on our wood. So we're, on, we're doing this on our shuffle. Oh, board I remember. It's Nemo. <laughs> Alright, there's Carl Mari. Welcome to the family. All right, change water. One last pod. We're going to open one last mini source. Okay, we're back for our last speaker piece. All right, so our last one is a mini source. See what we get. This is the one that I wanted. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. The mini source aren't my favorite. Like maybe swoop. Swoop kind of looks like Mom, a Mom, I have swoop. Oh, yeah, you do? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I want Rocky. Or, no, no, I want I think my favorite series would be the Frustonian. I like the frost. We didn't get any. All right, go ahead and drop it. We in. didn't get we any. We only have like eight percent, nine percent battery left. We don't. We don't have any astrolites, which will be fun to learn about because they're like right. space creatures, aliens. All right, wash your fingers. I don't think aliens are real, guys. That's I don't red. know. Red also, dies, bad day. Yeah, so my towel. So I'll let you know here. These are fun and they're really worth it. Please don't make sure it. you have Please a towel you don't care about, or I'm sure that'll wash out. Oh, we're already there. All right. That was quick. Oh, it's a green one. I think it's Rocky. Is that Rocky? It is. Oh, the first one. The 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 T Rex. It's a stomper. 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 That's one of the ones I wanted. Stomper. Let's try to find. Let's see. My under beaker. So here are our six beaker creatures so we just react we just put six beaker creatures one at a time they're oh reactor pods gosh, and we got these six beaker creatures uh, so we got some oceanites we got pearl and carl mari which is uh pearl and carl mari we got a frostonian snowball right there we got two min and then two mini sores which is a uh, stomper and Doug, stomper and Doug, and then who am I missing? Oh, him. Um, and then we got a buglet. What was the buglet's name? Do you have buglet's card over there? Yeah. Oh, I'll look at it. Buglet. We got um, uh, flit. And that's yeah, flit yeah. the buglet. So uh, yeah. there we go. Are we all our reactor pods? So that was a lot of fun. So um, yeah. we learned that you want to have. You're gonna change out your water each time. We learned that. These are not for the baths. Again, I'll tell you, these are a science toy that's not a bath fizz because you don't want to get this in your eyes. We also learned that it will kind of leave a color on your fingers, so have a towel nearby for the kids. They're not wiping this red or blue on their clothes. I would also suggest not a color towel we used because that was a really bad idea. It's okay. I think I still think it'll wash out of our towels, but... Um, but just to kind of help you out because if you have really young ones, they're going to go putting their hands in this and then they're going to go touching everything and, um, it is colored. So, um, I'm sure it's probably a color that'll come out, but, um, but yes, you don't want that mess. So thank you for watching Beaker Creatures by Learning Resources. You can go to learningresources.com slash Beaker Creatures to learn more. All right. Thanks for watching. Say bye, Anthony. Bye.